Okay, so I've just bought this board out. It is a, um, a high voltage MOSFET uh, boost, right? So you wire it into uh, one of your existing amps. Um, it'll work really well with a single channel amp, um, multi channel, whatever, right? But if you want to put um, a clean boost effectively in front of your amp, that is far more dynamic than what you get from any pedal. Um, this is the way to do it, right? So this thing operates off the same high voltage line that's in your amp. So you'll feed it 260 plus volts um, and this thing will, um, when wired in, it sounds very much like an extra tube, right? So it's a way of kind of adding a gain stage to your amp without going through the drama of, you know, drilling a massive hole and putting a, a new 12AX7 in it and, and what have you. Um, the board comes with um, everything you need really because it's got a relay on it which means you can make this thing remotely foot switchable um, so you can have obviously with the relay out um, your signal will pass through in the normal way and the relay goes on and um, the boost activates and on the board is everything you need to kind of get a DC supply for your relay so you can actually you know, power the relay and have it and have it activated um, so there is space on here for a rectifier um, and you know, capacitors to smooth out the DC supply uh, also a voltage regulator so you can get a nice uh, nice stable DC line you've got uh, an output trim pot as well so you can adjust the level of the boost right so it's kind of set and forget but you can obviously inside your amp you can um, you can adjust that um, and set it as you please given how much boost that you want there's also a few tricks in here about how to kind of tune the signal and I've written that up in the, uh, the documentation that's available if you purchase the board um, so you can you know you can kind of um, set how much uh, how much bass you want coming through or whether you want a kind of tighter sound and depends on the amp that you're putting it into right but what I've done um, and I actually used this uh, when I got together with the guys and jammed on Friday night which we can do now that we're out of COVID lockdown here in Melbourne this is my dirty Shirley clone at the top here you can see it I actually featured this in a video a little while ago maybe a month ago um, it's a single channel amp as you would know with the Dirty Shirley's and this board um, I designed this because I wanted to put it into this amp I was thinking I've been wanting to do this for a little while and um, I've made it like a footprint that will fit inside the wall of the chassis right so depends on the size of the chassis that you've got obviously about how you mount this but it's got four holes so you can securely mount it on standoffs and it's and it's thin enough this way that in your in your chassis you can actually mount this onto the wall rather than having to necessarily have space for it at the you know at the um, the base of the chassis, which is what I did with the Dirty Shirley, right? And um, I'll post some a couple of pictures of that uh, in this video so you can kind of see how how I did it. Um, but it's dead silent, and um, I'm really really happy with the result. Actually, it exceeded my expectations. I was kind of thinking, you know, I will. You know, get this boost going and see and see how it goes. Um, it's really kind of added a whole new dimension to this amp. And as I said, used it on Friday night with the guys, um, and uh, it's all I needed, right? Just the you know, I had the the main sound set, you know, dirty, and then the boost <coughs> was enough to um, really make it sing, and also just give me enough volume boost because it was just a three piece. I'm the only, only guitar player. Um, in that setup, so I didn't need too much of a volume boost for leads and stuff. So, um, just yeah, just cool. So, I've got the as I've got the amp set at the moment, um, I've it's got a three way structure switch like the Dirty Shirley's do. I've got it set in the uh, maximum gain structure, and I've got the gain at about at about six, six and a half of ten, right? So, this is the kind of the and I'm on bridge humbucker here, these are. Is the Thornbucker Plus in the bridge of this modern, Sir Modern. So it's a PAF, you know, PAS style um, output, right? It's only about 8 point something K, it's not, it's not too hot. So this is the unboosted tone. <laughs>
So I'll just play an A, I'll, I'll just sit on that A chord and I'll, I'll click the boost in and out. You can hear the, the um, you can hear it come in and out, right? It'd be obvious. So I'll start with it off. Single note, uh, single note thing, so you get an idea of what it, what it would do to any lead that you might be playing. So this is with it off. You'll hear it coming in and out. It can really add a, quite a lot to, in regardless of how you got your gain set. So if I wind the gain up on the on the Shirley and bring it, you know, right up to say say nine out of ten, you can hear that even at that level, it's still there's still enough juice in this thing to, to kick it. So I'll just do that. Spare with me two sets. All right. So the gain's up there at nine now, and this is the unboosted tone. Kicking the boost in. And I'll do the same thing, just play a little bit of single note stuff, bring the boost in and out, and you can hear what it will do to the amp, even with the gain up um, at a reasonable amount there. So starting with the with it with the boost off. to your amp, I would recommend it. I'm going to put this in uh, a couple of my other amps, I am sure. I'm really digging it. Cheers. See you guys.